What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is actually video number two in the exact same week. Uh, I wanted to do this video now because next week is going to be pretty busy for me. Um, all day Sunday I have church stuff, church meetings. Monday I have a, I am teaching um, in church on Wednesday so I have to study really hard for Monday because Tuesday I have work and I have another meeting and then obviously Wednesday I have work in church. So really I only have Thursday, Friday, Saturday and I'm gonna be helping some of my friends throughout that. Uh, they got some stuff renovating with their house. So I am pretty busy next week. So I wanna go ahead and get this video out because it doesn't take very long to do and I don't know if any of you guys, I know most of my subscribers probably won't need this but just in case someone ever decides to do this, I have now given you a chance to do so. So I'm going to show you how to talk to yourself. Um, there's a few tips that I've seen different people do. I've done it before in a video. I'll show a little clip of it. Um, I think this was like two years ago, a year and a half, maybe two and a half years ago. It was a while. It was a long time ago. I remember I saw Peter McKinnon's video of how to clone yourself, and is th that video was for a internship for our youth camps that I go to um, I did not realize that nobody would see it but literally the one person that I go to church with and I'm already friends with I thought it was gonna be like a whole big ordeal but I'm glad I got to do it because it's a great video and I got a lot of experience out of it but a few things that I've seen other people do is um, and what I'm probably gonna do I'm gonna show you guys how to edit it as well I'm gonna bring you obviously on the computer with me and show you guys how to like tear it down and make it easier to edit. Um, but that's usually the easy part is just kind of figuring out where to cut it and where to stop it and start it. Um, but a lot of it has to do with the conversation. You gotta think of something that you wanna say, some kind of conversation between you and whoever else. Uh, technically it's you, but it's gonna be somebody else. And hey, it might be helpful if you like bring me in there with you so that way we can I'm, do it I'm about to call you up now. Just. Just give me a second. Okay, it was just a suggestion. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, so I chose to do three people. Um, it's really easy. Just make sure that your camera doesn't move placement is mainly the only thing that you gotta worry about. Now you can obviously change outfits, stuff like that. Um, but usually the easiest thing to is for just, to do this video. Can you stop talking? Can you stop talking? Just for like 10 seconds. Please, I'm trying to film the video. You obviously see me trying to film know, the video. I'm the one that edits the video, so I need you to do it easier. I do not care if you edit the video. I film the video, then I let you edit the video. You don't let me do anything, I do it. You know what? Just come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. we'll tell them what you want to tell them. Okay, so. I am the editor of these videos, so I want to tell you guys um, how I edit the videos. Um, like, I obviously, I told you guys in the last video that I used Premiere Pro, so what I kind of want to do is show you guys how I do it um, and kind of give a good breakdown of editing. Not too in depth, because really all it is is just cutting and overlaying it exactly in the same spot of where you left off. So there's nothing really hard to it. It just kind of comes down to practice. Now, I obviously did this a couple years ago and it took me a long time to do it a couple years ago because I didn't know what I was doing. But um, there's obviously some things you just gotta remember and just learn from and grow, obviously, from doing those things. I would also added that um, I usually don't script my stuff. I somewhat try to just kind of flow with it because I feel like if I read something it's not as meaningful um, obviously I have the ideas planned out and what I want to do with them but as far as scripting them I don't script stuff you can it's a little bit easier if you do because then obviously you'll know both of what you guys are gonna say um, obviously me and him whenever we do this um, if I wanted to you know what just Give me some space. I gotta, I gotta talk to the guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Obviously, whenever we do this, um, I have to film my part and his part. So what I could do is I could record it and then have it just kind of playing in the background so I know that's what's gonna be said when. 
and I'll be able to talk over myself and I'll know what's going on when. But that's usually the easier route. I've seen people do it. They've had AirPods in and they just kind of cover it up and they turn it aside, put the AirPod in. Um, obviously, there's any kind of way you want to do it. The way I do it, it's probably the hardest way and the most risky way is to just kind of like flow with it and not have it scripted and not hear it back. But um, it, it required a little bit more like precise editing. Obviously, if you do it the other ways, they're fixed. Maybe you should but do it the other way so that way it's easier for the editor of the yes, video. I know to do that this. you are the editor, and I know that this is not the easiest way. Well, but maybe you should do it no, the easy way. I, I'm well, gonna, I don't want to edit the videos. Do you want to come talk to them completely? How about you let me talk to them for a minute? Okay, you don't I'm going to let you talk, talk to them for a minute, then I'm going to come back and finish it out. All right, look, come on. All right, thank you. Now, from the editing standpoint, this is going to be super simple. I'm going to break it down for you guys. Um, I'm going to bring you guys into my timeline. So here we go. All right, we are in the timeline now. So what I need you guys to do is to go and get both your audio files and video files. It should be together if you shoot it right. If you don't, um, some people obviously shoot audio in different forms other than like audio and video together. I need you to bring them all in your timeline and put them the very first one and the very second one. What I do is I shoot both things in full length. I don't cut them up just because it's easier for me to see when they stop and start in case I miss something or I want to go back and try to fix it. This is whenever me is talking the one in the gray shirt and this is the blue shirt so i'm gonna label this one i'm gonna change the color of it to a different color so i know this is the blue one so literally all you have to do is just take it and pull it up and your audio should go down with it and then just overlay it whenever you know you need to talk okay so once you get them overlaid on top of each other what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and make your actual view of the thing at minus at the fit set it to 25 or 50 percent because then you need to see what's going on around so what you need to do is you're going to put a mask around so once you grab the little pen tool the little thing should drop down so move forward in time so that way your guy is perfectly where he needs to be that way you know where you need to stop so outline him pretty well if you don't move a lot unlike i do i move my hands a lot um, outline him as best as you can knowing what's gonna happen um, you can obviously move this later on if you need to move your hands or something like a hat comes in something crazy moves but for in general just outline him and make sure you click that little keyframe button that means that once we move it later on through our timeline it will automatically set a keyframe for us which is what I like about the masking on Premiere Pro so now we're gonna go and go back to the beginning of the clip with me in the blue shirt and I'm gonna make the mask go all the way off of the screen and set it right there. Now Premiere should automatically do it for you but sometimes it doesn't do it very well. So just kind of watch it and see and obviously right here it's not exactly where I want it to be so I'm just gonna go ahead and click through and readjust my mask and move it from there that should literally be it now i'm just gonna play it see if it sounds good see if it looks good if it doesn't uh if it does then i'm done if it doesn't then i just gotta tweak it a little bit from there Okay, so that is literally the whole editing process. So there's nothing really hard to it. It's just kind of coming down to figuring out what you want yours to look like. And it all depends on your background as well. I have this giant seamless paper, so it's a whole lot easier for me to do this and mess up a little bit. Um, that little feather tab that's right there, that kind of gives you like a wider or a narrow version of your pen and I really don't need the wide version because my background is so similar. Um, if you have stuff, uh, like actual stuff stuff in your background like I did, obviously feather it a little bit so that way it kind of bleeds together just in case your camera moved a little bit, you'll be able to notice it. But that is literally it. And Are you I, done? Yes, I'm done. Is it my turn? Yes. Can I end the video now? Yes, and come in the video. All right, so. 
now that you guys have kind of seen the editing side of it, the how I do it, it's super easy to do. Um, I think it makes a whole different dynamic to your videos. It kind of pulls like this creative side out of you. Like you have to make the whole like split personality kind of thing. And I, I really enjoy doing it. Um, I have done it in a few different videos, even with like people that I was shooting for another video for. Um, they're definitely very fun to do in it's kind of awkward in person what it looks like obviously you guys won't be able to see that but in person it looks really awkward just kind of standing here talking to yourself but that is it for this video make sure to like make sure to subscribe hit the little bell so that way you get notified every time that i upload a video or i go live so peace out and i will catch you guys in the next one